the number of confirmed coronavirus cases worldwide has topped 2 million, according to data compiled by Johns Hopkins University. The death toll is nearly 1,20,000. New York's coronavirus death toll topped 10,000 even as the lack of fresh hotspots in the US or elsewhere in the world yielded a ray of optimism and fueled discussions Monday about how some places might begin to reopen. The brunt of the disease has been felt most heavily in New York, Italy, France, Spain and the United Kingdom. After a fall in daily death tolls, Spain and Italy, two countries hard hit by the virus, were set to begin easing lockdown measures on Monday. Officials around the world worried that halting quarantine and social distancing measures could easily undo the hard-earned progress that those steps have achieved in slowing the spread. Some health experts and politicians argue that it's premature to ease the lockdown in a nation that has suffered more than 17,750 deaths and reported more than 1,70,000 infections, second only to the United States' nearly 6,83,000 infections. In the US, about half of the more than 22,000 deaths reported are in the New York metropolitan area. Meanwhile, Johns Hopkins tracking maps showed a dense patchwork of coronavirus cases along the Northeast Corridor, as well as significant outbreaks corresponding to other major metropolitan areas, though nothing on the scale of what New York has endured. News Desk